Hi guys! Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I made this really easy and chic cork board. It's perfect if you want to pin up some pictures, some notes, really whatever you would like. I pinned up some earrings on there and I think they're super cute. So I'm going to start off by sharing with you the supplies that I used. First off, I got a picture frame. It's from Michaels. It's 10 by 10 inches and it's all white. I got it for about $5, not bad. Picked up some pebbled cork tiles. This was the cheapest option for me so I went with it. Picked up two different types of scrapbook paper paper because I thought they were really pretty and then some clear push bins nothing crazy just the regular standard and then some accessories depending on your style and taste those will be different so I'm starting off by taking everything out of the picture frame I took the backing out the paper that it comes with I also took out the frame that comes in the frame and also the glass so that's all coming out of the main picture frame Now I'm just tracing the back of the frame onto the cork. Because the cork um, tiles are a little bit too big, I have to cut it. So I want it that same size of the back of the frame, that way it fits in the main frame. So then once the back is all traced, I'm just going to cut it out with some scissors. And it was actually pretty easy. I thought at first, I was like, oh no, do we need special scissors? Nope, regular scissors are fine. Cut it out, super simple and easy. So once I cut the cork out, I want to make sure that it actually fits in the frame. So I'm just kind of testing, making sure it fits, and it does. I don't want to do a ton of work to the cork and then it not fit. So now the cork, the packet, came with a ton of like double-sided pieces of tape, like strips. So I decided to tape that onto the cork, and then once all the strips are on there, I'm just going to press the cork onto the frame so that it's stuck on. And then, bam, the cork and the back of the frame are stuck together. It's now one piece which is obviously what we need. So now I'm tracing the size of the cork board onto the scrapbook paper because I need the scrapbook paper that same size. And I'm just taking one of the pieces and then I'm just going to cut it out. So now that the scrapbook paper is cut out, I wanted to add some contrast since the scrapbook paper is like off creamy white and then the frame is white. So I'm taking that other piece of scrapbook paper and I'm cutting it into a little square. I'm actually using the other frame that came with the frame. And I'm just going to cut it out and I thought this square was going to go on the bottom right hand corner but I ended up putting it on the top left. I don't know. So it's going to go right there on the cork board and to paste it down I actually used this fabric tape and I wanted a dark color because everything was so light so I don't know. I thought it was like a nice little pop of color and it has like a floral design and I'm just taping that down and then kind of overlapping the tape around the back end of the cork board by making sense so that everything is stuck down. So that's what that looks like and then it's time to just put the cork board into the frame and the cork board is pretty much done. So now that the corkboard is done, I'm just going to start pinning up some accessories and stuff. I pinned up a flower, a pair of earrings that I knew I wanted to put on here, they're so cute. And then I just pinned up some like Polaroid pictures that uh, my friend took for my birthday, some old pictures, and then I also pinned up another pair of earrings that I thought would go well with the corkboard. And then that's pretty much it. You can obviously pin up whatever you want. Um, it's perfect for like above your computer you can pin up some notes and stuff and depending on your taste and style obviously it's going to change thanks guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video peace